Hey there, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I make felties. It is pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to digitize, how to put them in the machine. And I will start with all the background work with the drawing of the image. As you can tell, um, I'm sketching my own image for these. But you can also buy files and that works perfectly fine. I decided to do these to make them my own. So I use an iPad to draw my designs and I'm going to show you how I drew the whole thing. If you want to just skip ahead into the digitizing part, I'm going to put the, the where it starts in the description box. So for the drawing, it is pretty simple. I am actually recording in, on screen of the iPad and I started with the circle. I wanted to start with the circle first to make sure that it, it, it looked nice. So I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I'm going to fill it up. I Once I do that, I realized cookies are not very symmetrical. So I decided to give it a little bit of texture. And using a thicker brush, I'm just going to fill up those gaps that didn't get filled out when I drew it. So once I do this, I'm going to go ahead and make layers. It's very important when you're working in designs like this, either, either if you're doing it on your, on your tablet or if you're using a program like Photoshop, Illustrator, or whatever program you use to work with layers. It will save you so much time. Like here, I'm duplicating each layer for the chocolate chips. I do make a little mistake to... Um, blend them all together at the end but it's, it's it's really easy to fix so that's okay once you have all the chocolate chips <laughs> that you like I decided to just go ahead and blend them all together like I mentioned and I'm actually gonna draw some eyes that thing objects look really cute with the eyes so I'm gonna draw this kawaii this, uh, uh, inspire eyes and just bas it's basically circles so just make sure to make a circle in black and two whites as you can tell i'm working with layers you can either use the drone circle um, option or you can actually do a brush dot with a thicker brush however you like i i really enjoy drawing on my on the iPad this way to make the designs. I used to do everything in my computer with Illustrator and it was a little it took a little longer. Now I have the freedom to be able to do this faster and it works great. I can go back and edit the image. Uh, here I'm drawing the the mouth and I'm actually drawing it at the same with the same specs of the eye because I wanted to have that roundness of the eyes so i'm gonna go ahead once i finish and fill it up i'm gonna go ahead and move it over here where the mouth should be in between the eyes and i'm just gonna fix a little bit of details if you would like to see another method on how to digitize images that maybe are in your paper or um in your computer or some other methods that you would like to see just let me know i've trust me i work with a lot of other methods to do digitizing i drew things on paper and just go ahead and scan them and make them like that it's a little bit harder to do um, not harder it just takes a little bit longer but it works great here i'm adjusting the the chips the chocolate chips and i'm also gonna add eyelashes i love eyelashes i, I think they look really cute especially in graphics more than embroidery it's a little bit hard for them to to pop out in the embroidery but I went ahead and added them either way and I just duplicated the layer to be able to move it to the other side for the next step I'm just gonna draw an oval to simulate the blushing on the cheeks and color pink and I'm gonna duplicate it and move it to the other side that way I have for each cheek and I'm also going to go ahead and start drawing a bow I wanted this to be a a cookie with the bow so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it and once I have the first flap of the bow I'm just gonna move it around rotate it until it looks it starts taking the shape so for the center I'm gonna draw a rectangle with curved edges and I'm gonna fill it up with a, a 
different contrast pink because that's gonna be important when you were digitizing in order to have the the whole contrast of the object instead of blending it together for this last step is optional i usually don't do it on my designs but i wanted to do it because i'm not gonna fill it up it's gonna be all felt so i went ahead and added an edge so now let's go to digitizing So for this step, I'm using So Art Pro, and I'm actually gonna start by cropping the image. I don't want all those white edges because it's gonna affect the size. And I'm apologizing in advance because for some reason it doesn't show when I click the options like the file, drop down menu, and all that. But I'm gonna go ahead and describe all of them here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this merge the speckle mode and it's just to clean up the image. As you can tell, I clicked the, the speckle and merge and I mean the merge all and it actually cleans up the image. You just got to make sure to the speckle these little lines that are left behind. So when you're digitizing, it doesn't show in the embroidery or it doesn't leave gaps in between. It's very important to do this step. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and fill out the mouth because I don't want it pink. I actually wanted it red. And then I'm going to crop this. I'm going to resize the image. I usually do my felt is 2 inches by 2 inches. So that's what I'm doing right here. It doesn't really show because it doesn't show that in the screen recording. But it's 2 inches by 2 inches. So that's why it looks a little pixelated, but it's not going to look like that when you finish embroidering. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do the stitching now and I'm going to go ahead and do center line bean. I usually do 2 for height and 25 for length. And I'm going to select the edge. As you can tell, I'm only select the top and I'm also going to select the bottom and that should fix it. And once I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the rest of the things. I messed up with that stitch. That's fine. Just delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the option on the top left corner that says fill and I'm going to go ahead and pick all the items in the same color in this case is the chocolate chips so I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to change the angle to 25 I usually do from 0, 25, 45, 65 and I'm going to select everything in the same color with the 25 angle then I'm going to change it to 45 and select everything with the same ang angle and I'm going to go ahead and do this for each color the reason I'm doing this is because it helps you to not have gaps when the stitches are too close together and it also makes it look nice instead of having everything going in the same direction now this program I'm using is so what pro and it's from the same company as you can tell I already have the item digitized here but it's only one cookie I want a whole sheet because I sell mine as a sheet or as items of six. So I'm going ahead with the steps. I'm looking to the steps and I've noticed that I only have one edge, but I want a, a, a stitch that will place in the felt first, which is this one, but I want it twice for the beginning and for the end. So I'm going to go ahead and you cannot see it here, but I'm actually copying and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it and it shows at the end of my list now I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors because if I don't do this my machine is just gonna blend them together instead of having them as two separate steps and I don't want that so I'm gonna go ahead in the second one I change it, the thread to thread or poly because that's what I use but you can use whatever you want so I'm, I'm looking for the chocolate color so let me just go look through here and here it is so now that i have this this is how i want it this is how it will stitch so i'm gonna go ahead and select it and i'm gonna copy and i will also paste and it is not showing i know but you'll see right now as you can tell there is more steps now because i have another cookie and i'm gonna change also the that's that i can is to change the the frame size of your work I selected the one for me which is 5 by 7 I tend to do these like that but you can do any size I'm gonna move this a little bit closer I do leave a little gap in between them because I cut these individually and I'm gonna copy both of them I'm gonna paste again and I'm just gonna move them a little lower leaving that gap I'm gonna do the same step copy and paste 
and I'm going to move them at the end. So I have my six felt is as usually how I manage my packages. And as you can tell, there's a lot of steps and it will do each and single step for one felty and then do each and single step for the other felty, which to be honest, it takes a long time. It's wasteful and I just, I don't like it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and tools and there i think it's an edit there is an option there is to merge all the all the the stitches or you can just select ctrl j and as you can tell it did it right here i selected all the same thread colors to merge together and now i will do them all in one step for each color which is awesome it works amazing this way and once you have all of this, I'm just going to go ahead and check that all the steps are right. You can also select this other option here that it actually shows you how it will stitch. This is a great feature to make sure that you have your stitches the way you want it, the colors in the proper position in the proper order. And it will also give you an idea or of how they're going to look because mine have the texture option selected which it kind of shows how the embroidery will look in the future so it's a great feature i really like this program it took me a little bit longer to actually start it i actually started working with this program last year and it was hard it took me a long time to learn the tricks and everything that has to do with it but i really really like it i i just wish i could use it on my computer because i'm using a race computer right now and it is just not my favorite but i mean it works and um that's it for the tutorial uh go ahead and check the other video i didn't want to put it in two because it's a really it's a really long video already so go ahead and check it out how i put it all in the machine and how it works so i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit long but it's a lot of material that i wanted to cover and well i will talk to you next time thank you for watching bye